Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now I am going to explain revisiting defenses against large scale online password guessing attacks is under the domain of network. What is network? A network is a group of two or more commuter systems linked together. There are many types of commuter networks including LAN, WAN, CAN, MAN and HAN. What is LAN? It's nothing but local area networks. The computers are geographically close together that is in the same building. What is WAN is nothing but wide area networks. The computers are further apart are connected by telephone lines or radio waves. What is CAN is nothing but campus area networks. The computers are within a limited geographic area such as campus or military base. What is MAN is a metropolitan area networks. A data network designed for a town or city. What is HANS is nothing but home area networks. A network contained within a user's home that connects a person's digital services. Now I am going to explain abstract of the paper. Online password casing attacks on password only systems have been observed for decades. Brute force and dictionary attacks on password only remote login services are now increased. To propose a new password guessing resistant protocol is used to restrict such attacks. It is simply called PGRP. PGRP to allow the limited number of login attempts from unknown host. If it is failed in the login attempts after being challenged with an ATT. What is ATT? It's automated Turing test. It's almost a standard security technology for addressing the threat of undesirable or malicious bot programs. What is bot? The term bot is short for robot. Criminals distribute malicious software that can turn your computer into a bot. When this occurs, your computer can perform automated tasks over the net internet without you knowing it. Criminals typically use bots to infect large number of computers. These computers form a network or a botnet. Now I am going to explain brief concept of the paper. Online password guessing attacks on password based systems are inevitable and commonly observed against web publications. How the attackers easily access the account? The users generally choose common and relatively weak password. So attackers can try only limited number of guesses from a single machine before being locked out. And they, they to solve this ATT so they can access the users account easily. So online attacks are much easier than before. In existing to use to two protocols such as VS and PS protocols. PS protocol reduce the number of ATTs sent to legitimate users but at the same time to losses of security suckers. VS protocol may require all users to answer ATTs in certain circumstances. The both protocols are only suitable for cookies to identify the machines. The maximum number of failed login attempts is occurred. In proposed to use PGRP protocol, PGRP builds on these two previous proposals such as PS and VS, in particular to limit attackers in control of a large botnet. PGRP enforces ATT software if few failed login attempts are made from known unknown machines. On the other hand, PGRP allows a high number of failed login attempts from known machines without answering any ATTs. We define known machines as those from which a successful login has occurred within a fixed period of time. These are identified by their IP addresses saved on the login server as a whitelist or cookie stored on client machines. A whitelist IP address and or client cookie expire after a certain time. So PGRP accommodates both graphical user interfaces and character based interfaces. PGRP uses either cookies or IP address or both for tracking legitimate users. The goal of PGRP protocol first one is the login protocol should make brute force and dictionary attacks ineffective even for adversaries with access to large botnets. Second one, the protocol should not have any significant impact of usability. Third one, the protocol should be easy to deploy and scalable requiring minimum computational resources in terms of memory, processing time and disk spaces. I am going to explain system architecture of the paper. First process is create credential. User to enter the credentials are username, password and cookies. These credentials are reading first. Next to go to PGRP. Inside PGRP, the username password are automatically set to login. In login to verify the username, password and cookies. If anyone is wrong, the process comes to ATT test. 
ADT to give the combination of words and numbers. The user to answer this test. If this test is wrong, the process goes to PS. Inside PS, the same process is followed. If the login basis failed, is go to ATT test. If the ATT test is failed, and again is come to VS protocol. Here inside a VS, the same process we followed. So in the PGRP gives three chances to user. For example, if user login verification process is successful, the user to access account and further process is going on, such as compose mail and forward. I am going to explain demo of our project. First start VAM server. The data are retrieved from databases. To open it means to run title.java in that form. There are two, uh, two choices are there. One create new account and known as if already there to sign in. I choose sign in. Here the credential process is done. The user to give mail id, password and cookie. And click pg or p. In PGRP, the email and password is set to two fields. Click verify to check whether the email and password cookie is correct or wrong. If it is wrong, the process goes to ATT test. If it is correct, this message box is displayed and click OK. The next new form is open. In that form, the user account information is displayed and click compose mail. In that form, the user to give mail id, subject and content, click send, the mail sending message box is displayed and click forward, the same mail is sent to other person and click send, click inbox, the next new form is open, here, the one user to send mail, if you see this mail to click the content is showed. If you delete, click delete, the mail is deleted. Click chart and the next form is open to click compose mail. Here in the ball Morgan send two mails, also in the Mohan and Raj send one mails. This graph is used to display how many users send mail to others. And click inbox here. In this graph, display how many mails are there present in the account. And click day to day. This graph is used to display date wise how many users send mail to others. Conclusion is PGRP appears suitable for organizations of both small and large number of users accounts, and PGRP can also be used with remote login services. Thanks for listening.